Welcome back, comrades. Glad to have you guys back, and uh, hope you guys are doing great. So we are here doing a look, or not doing a look, but looking at a desert storm stove. Well, I don't know if that's what they're called, but we'll get into that here in a minute, because we'll just do a little brief history of what I could find on this thing here. But first, let's go ahead and let's get this thing opened up. Sure, kind of. I don't know if this is the original packaging or what, but uh, we'll find out here in a minute. Oh wow! Check this out. That is that is original. Cool. There's something in there. We'll look at that here in a minute. That's gonna be cool. So here we have right here, starting off the top, US 91 gold medal. Let me turn my light on here. You can see it made a little better. There. Uh, glaring on you there, but US 91 gold medal. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's get the inside here. Let me try to light off. There's a paper in here. Let's check this out. Get it open here. There we go. Cool. Check that out. It comes with instructions. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and just read them. Canteen cup stand with a bottom. You stand with heating water and meal ready to eat MRE. Well, that's cool. So these are for MREs. Okay. So here on the left, it shows like your canteen cup. And then it shows your pouch, which would be your MRE pouch, I guess. It says, number one, place folded MRE pouch and cup and cover with water. Two, place fuel bar in well at bottom stand and light. Follow directions of fuel bar packet. So it'd be your fuel bar. You put that in the in the stove that we're looking at. It says, note, if you are using a 30 gram bar, break it in half. Place one half of the top of the other in the well. That's pretty cool. I think, I don't know if it's for the trioxine. I think it's for trioxine. Maybe. All right, three. Uh, place cup and stand. Fuel bar will burn out after seven or eight minutes. Four, wait for stand and cup to cool before stowing cup inside stand. It says gold metal special ties incorporated 685 Liberty Avenue, Union, New Jersey 07083. Well, ain't that pretty cool? That's the military uh, history right there. <laughs> so that's probably from 1991. I'm assuming that's what that is on here. That's the year. So yeah, so we are looking at a canteen stove that goes would go with your USGI canteen, uh, US military. Uh, there is another design of these, which is this one right here. Um, this one here, you'll find more often. You'll see this more often online. These are more ready, ready little, I can't say the word, ready available, <laughs> uh, or just at least more common. Not sure. Um, now these here, you can find these online as well. I have a feeling one day they're going to be harder to find, so you better get one. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can still find these. Now, I will go ahead and talk about the history. I go ahead and bring this one in too because this is kind of part of the history. But stuff I found online um, about this stove and this stove, it's not written in stone. It's not concrete evidence it's just what i could find so they're just different threads i read um and it's nothing that's like proven so i'm just going to tell you what i found on it so first thing i found i was trying to look up stuff about this stove here so i didn't know anything about it until recently and uh a guy that wrote something in an article i think it's soldier systems or something was talking about these two and how actually these were around or maybe both these kind were around in um during the time of World War II, and they were seen used in the late late uh, services of World War II towards the end of the war, I think. That's what it was. But it was used during World War II for a little bit, from what I read. And then somehow the patent that these were made from was resurrected in the late 80s. <clears throat> now this one's still around. That's easy. That's a pretty common one. We'll put that one to the side. But this one here... Uh, supposedly from what i read these were issued during desert storm and that was it that was like the only time they were issued from what i could find 
And I don't have anything to really confirm that, but a couple threads, uh, someone saying, or, was, or it was just one thread in, online that I read, but uh, an, a veteran of the deserts, uh, Desert Storm had talked about how they were issued these, and he saw quite a handful of them. But he said that he never took his with, the, with him to um, Desert Storm, but he was issued these, and that's kind of where they get the name, Desert Storm Stove, from what I read. Now, I can't remember if he said that's where they get the name Desert Storm Stove, but somewhere in another thread I read, that's where they get their name because they were issued during Desert Storm. Don't know for sure. It's just what I read. Um, but with that said, there was also another name for these, and that was called Type 2 Stove or uh, USMC Stove. So there's like three names from what I've read that these were called online. And that's pretty much about it. That's all I could find on it. Now, I will get out the canteen. I have a canteen cup that goes with the whole system. We'll put together. We'll set the canteen cup in here and everything. So, because I'm kind of curious how it works kind of versus this one here. So, it's going to be interesting. You can tell this one here is just a little bit, a little bit shorter, a little bit different. You can put your canteen on top of that. But, um, maybe I'll do that one for another video. I just want to focus on this one. Here you have your stove. And more likely a soldier, he would put his he put his trioxine fuel or whatever type of fuel he had. And you just set that in there like that. That's what you light. And then the canteen, where you can see here on the diagram how it sits in there. Would just sit in the same uh, direction as the design of the thing. There's how it would sit right in there like that. Now I did read also somewhere online that people didn't like these because your you see how the canteen doesn't really sit in there. It's kind of lopsided a little bit. It doesn't really sit in there straight. So I wonder if turning it around. You can sit, oh yeah, there you go. It sits in there like that, turned around too. Actually, that sits in there a lot better like that. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to go. But this is what they were talking about. It's just stick in there like that. I remember reading that. It fits in there good, but, you know, you got to make sure you have some gloves on or something because you have to pull that off. That's probably how it goes like that. Well, pretty simple, guys. So my guess is, so we got that taken care of. My guess is maybe the reason why they don't, they stopped making these or didn't use them very long, is because maybe this won the patent with the with the military. Because these uh, like this one here. Let's see, actually flip this around like that. I think it would just sit like that on top. That actually sits pretty easy. But heck, it even sticks too. But with this one, even though it's sticking, when you lift it off, your fuel will still be down here. So that's that's no big deal. But with this one here, your fuel and everything's still with it. <laughs> so it's going to be really hot. I can actually just place it over here and cool off. I wouldn't be able to do that because it would still be hot with this on. Okay, let's move on to how to store this. Uh... Directions for says, wait for stand a cup to cool before stowing cup inside stand. So the cup would be, which is this right here. This is your butterfly, USGI butterfly handle cup. That would go with this. It would store in here. So see how good that fits. Huh. It's a little tight, but it fits. It fits in there. Huh. Interesting. So that would fit in there. And then you would take your canteen itself like that. You got your whole system right there, your whole cooking system and everything. Next step would be to put it in your canteen pouch. So how well it fits in here. It does sit up a little higher. 
Ooh, I don't know. That's not going to work. I can't get that button on there. <laughs> this is the kind of canteen pouches they would have been using in Desert Storm. And I cannot... That sucked. I cannot get that button on there. I mean, it's super tight. Way too tight than what it's supposed to be. So I just need to work it in more, but yeah, that's way too tight. So I'm wondering, this is a, pretty much a brand new case anyways, but there's a different case they used. That's not gonna work. I have another canteen pouch, we'll try it. It's a little bit of a newer one. So I'll go ahead and put everything back in here. This is a Molly pouch here. Actually, I'll just stay in there. This actually got a little more room, I think. That that will go in there like that. See if that fits in there a little better. Yeah, oh that fits a lot better. So it fits in that one just fine. That's interesting. I'm just gonna give you guys my idea on maybe the what happened with this desert storm stove or type two stove whatever you want to call it why maybe it didn't last very long compared to this one i think this one lasted a lot longer i'm thinking that this won the patent for the military or they just decided to go and stay with this one because this one here you just saw in the video that i cannot fit that in or i cannot snap down the button on the on this canteen pouch, which is what they would have used in Desert Storm, other than a two quart uh, pouch for a two quart canteen. Maybe they had to use one that was not insulated. This one's insulated. I don't know if they make them without the insulation. Maybe that could have been why. But it fit fine in the other one, which is a later version. Unless maybe they had that in the 90s too. I don't know. Or early 90s, because Desert Storm or Desert Shield, Desert Storm had been. What, 90 to 91? So that's my guess, is that maybe they had issues with this thing fitting in the canteen pouches. Because this one here fits just fine. This wrap, this actually here wraps around your water bottle and goes into your canteen. Or you can put it around your canteen, canteen cup, I mean to say. Or you can put it around your canteen cup, put your water bottle in there, I think. And then it, it's real easy. Yeah, I think it's actually, yeah, it's even thinner. It's thinner than this, if you can see it there on camera. Oh, it's probably hard to tell, but yeah, this is a lot thinner, quite a bit of difference in this. So, I don't know, it's a pretty cool piece of history. This is probably more practical. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, hope you all learned something today. Uh, if you guys know anything about this, man, I'd really like some uh, um, info on this. Or if there's any veterans out there watching this from Desert Storm, hey, I'd... Be really cool if you could give me some uh, info on this i'd really greatly appreciate that and uh but with that said guys appreciate you coming along make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that notification bell so you get all my notifications and i appreciate you guys watching my videos and coming along and i will see you in the next video all right guys god bless you and take care bye